Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a chibi red arrow. Let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start with the eyelid on the left side. We're going to draw a curve from the outside of the eye coming in towards the inside. Coming in at an angle. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to leave a gap in the middle here. Curving up and out. Let's tuck the eyes underneath the eyelids. So starting on the left side, we're going to step over towards the right a little and draw a half circle coming into the inside. Up. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now starting from the inside this time, come around to the bottom, and then we'll tuck that in underneath the eyelid. Let's draw in the outside of the mask. So in between the eyes, right in the middle here, I'm going to do a little point. From here, we're going to curve up above the left eye. So going up to about here, we'll curve down and in. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now going up to the same height as we have on the left. Curving up. We're going to curve down the sides of the eye. Curving down, and then on the right side we'll do the same thing, so curving down. Now I want to curve the bottom side of the mask on the left side, curve down to the bottom, and then on the right we'll do the same thing, so curving down to the bottom. Now we're going to make our way towards the center here. Now we're going to leave a little space in the middle. So from the left side we're going to curve up and in. On the right we'll do the same thing, so curving down towards the bottom. Let's tuck the nose in underneath the mask here. So we're going to start with a U shape in the middle of the nose. Now on the sides, we're going to draw the nostril. From the top, we're going to step down on the left and just curve around. On the right, we'll do the same thing. So it's almost like a backward C. Let's draw the mouth just underneath the nose. So we're going to start with a curve from left to right, going up. And we're going to curve down the sides of the mouth, just rounding them out. On the ends, we're going to draw a little bracket. And then at the bottom of the mouth, we just want to draw a curve, a little short curve for the bottom of the lip. Let's go back up to the top of the mask, and we're just going to draw a little frown line. So just left of center, we're just going to curve up and out. On the right, we'll do the same thing. Let's draw in the bottom of the face. So on the edge of this mask here, we're going to draw a half circle going all the way to the bottom of the chin and up towards the right side. So starting at this point here, curve down, work our way down towards the chin, and we're going to work our way back up towards the right side. Curving out, and then up. Let's tuck the ears on the side. So from this point of the mask, we're gonna curve outwards, and then we're just gonna pull it straight in behind the head right there. Let's draw the inner ear detail. So right up here, we're just gonna draw a little curve that comes in behind the head. We'll do the same thing on the right side. So starting from the point, curve out, pull it in, and come straight into the side of the head. Right up here, we're just gonna draw a little curve for the inner ear detail. Let's draw on the inside edge of the hair. So again, from that starting point here on the edge of this mask, we're going to curve up and in, just above that point. Do the same thing on the right side, curving down. From here, we're going to angle up and out, going outwards. Now we want to make our way towards the center point in the widow's peak right down here. So I'm going to start with a point in the middle, just below the sides here. Now we're going to come in this way, but along the way, I just want to draw a little zigzag. So curving down about halfway, go up with a small angle, and then we'll continue that curve down towards that widow's peak. Do the same thing on the right side. Now starting from the middle, curve up and out, come down with a short angle, Now we're going to make our way to the outside edge of the hairline. Let's draw on the sides of the hair. So right here on the side, we're going to curve up and just on the outside of that point there. So going up with a curve. On the right side, we'll do the same thing. So right in here, we'll go up with a curve. Now he's got some little spiky hair that kind of goes up in a little wave to a point. So we'll start back on the left side. We we'll do a hard turn going inwards. I'm going to pull that back with a short little curve. We'll do that one more time. We're going to go across and up. Right about there. And I'm going to come back with a short little curve. Now I'm going to reverse the angle. So I'm going to go up in the opposite direction. Going up. We're swooping upwards. And then I'm going to pull this back down with a short curve. We'll draw another point. Going up. Now I'm going to pull this down this way, so it's going more towards the right, coming down this way. We'll do one more point, go up. Now I want to take that point and make my way to the side of the head here. So we're just going to draw a little curve that comes down. Let's add a few little hair lines in the center here. So right in the middle, I'm just going to curve up and out towards the right. We'll step over a little bit and just draw another curve going out. On this side, I'm going to go in the opposite direction, right here, going out. 
Let's work our way down the body. So I'm going to start on either side of the chin and we'll draw a curve coming down towards the waistline. So right here on the left, we'll curve down and out. On the right, we'll curve down and out. So the body's actually going outwards this way towards the waist. We'll connect those two points with a curve. Coming down in the middle and then up on the right side. We're going to thicken up the belt. So we're going to go up and just draw that same curve along the top of the top of the belt. Let's add a little bit of detail. So on either side here, I'm just going to draw a little curve like this, going in towards each other. On the insides, I'm going to draw a circle. Do that on both sides. And then inside the center area, we're just going to draw a series of little horizontal lines. So I'm going to fit perhaps three lines going across in the middle like that. Let's draw on the shoulder straps. So right on the side of the body here, I'm going to curve around the bottom and then pull this up underneath the chin. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Curving down and just pulling up the side to the side of the body there. In here, we're going to draw the same size circles on the inside. We're going to connect these two points with a straight line along the middle. We're going to draw that twice, just for a little strap across the chest. Now we're going to draw in two straps that continue down the side of the body. So right here, we're going to curve down and out. Curve down and out. We're going to add a couple lines like we did in the middle here on the side. So we're just following that same curve. So we can fit two on either side. Now in the middle, I'm just going to draw a straight line going in behind the strap. So in the center of the chin, go straight down behind that strap and pull it down towards the belt. In here, we're just going to draw a little V shape. So right from this strap, we'll come down in an angle towards the middle. And then we'll go back up on the right side. Let's work our way down the legs. So the legs are the same height as the body. So we're going to start with the lower torso first. So right in the middle here, we'll draw a little curve going across. On the left side, we're going to step over towards the right and curve down towards the heel. On the right, we're going to step over towards the left and curve down towards the heel. So you can see there's a little overlap on the inside. We'll draw on the bottom of the feet. So from the heel to the toe, we're going to draw a curve that goes across the bottom of the foot. Going across like that. We'll do the same thing on the right side. From here, we're going to curve the top of the boot. So we're going to do a little half circle coming up. We'll come back down, but we're not going to go all the way down. We're just going to go up to the top and then down to right above there. And then from here, I just want to curve to the inside of the leg, just following that same curve as the bottom of the foot. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to start with this curve first, going across to right about there. Now from here, I want to curve up the top of the foot towards the toe. Curving up and then down. Now from the hips, I'm just going to curve the outside of the leg to the top of the foot. Starting on the left hip, curve down. On the right, we'll curve down. We'll draw on the top of the boot. So right here, we draw a curve going across from the outside of the leg to the inside. Do the same thing on the right. We'll add a little knee pad here. So it's almost like a square, but it's got some rounded edges to it. So along the bottom here, we're going to step up, just draw a curve. On the outside, we have a little gap here. We're just going to follow the side of the leg up. We'll go across with a curve and then come down and connect to the bottom line. Let's do the same thing on the right. So along the bottom here, curve across. We'll go up on the side. Now we're going to go across the top with a slight curve and then connect the top and the bottom line. On the side of the hips here, we're just going to add another strap. So aiming towards the circle, we're going to step down below the belt, curve to the outside of the leg. We we'll draw that twice. Nice thick belt coming across. We we'll do another one over here. Starting below this belt, curve to the outside of the leg, and we'll draw that twice. I'm going to add two little utility pouches on the side. So from this hip underneath this belt, we're going to go out at an angle. We'll curve with the side of the leg down to right about here, and pull that back into the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. So going out from the hip, curving down the side of the leg, and we're going to pull that in to the side of the leg there. Let's draw in the arms. So I'm just going to have the arms hanging down on either side. So we start with the inside part of the left arm first. So just beside the strap, about halfway down the body, right here, we're going to curve down and out. We're going to round out the thumb. So this is this part right here. So we're going to do a little half circle going around. At the end of the thumb, we're just going to draw a little bracket. Let's draw on the first finger. So underneath the thumb, we'll curve around the bracket and up. Now we're going to layer the fingers up as we go outwards this way. So stepping over right here. Curve another finger, and then the third finger, we're going to go all the way up underneath the chin. So curving up and out, and then just pulling that back in underneath the chin. 
we're going to add a glove here. So halfway down this arm, right about here, we're going to curve to the inside of the arm there. And let's draw a few little openings in the glove. So from this point, we're going to step down and just draw a little curve. Going about halfway along the thickness of the arm, we're going to come down at an angle. And I'm going to pull that back to the side of the arm there, like that. Okay, so that's our first opening. We're going to do that twice. Step down, curve across the arm, come down at an angle, and curve to the outside of the arm. Let's do the same thing on the right side. So we're going to step over at the same height as we have on the left, curving out and down to the same height of the thumbs. We're going to round out the thumb with a half circle. We'll draw a little bracket. Now for the first finger, we're going to come down to the bottom of the thumb, circle around the bracket, and up. Draw a second finger, so down here, do a little overlap. And then the third finger, we're going to go all the way up underneath the chin. Now we want to make sure that that gap here is the same on the right side. Going up, and tucking that in underneath the chin. Let's draw on the top of the glove. So right here, we're going to curve the top of the glove. And then again, we're going to add those little openings. So right up here, Draw a curve going to the outside of the arm, come down at an angle, curve back to the outside of the arm. Draw that curve down here again, come down at an angle, and then curve to the outside of the arm. The final thing we're going to draw is the arrows and the sack on the side here. So we're just going to see a little bit of it poking out this way. So we're going to start on the side with a short straight line. So it's coming in behind the body this way. At the top, we're going to round it out behind the head. We'll draw that same curve just below it. Now we just want to add a couple arrows in here. So on the side here, we're just going to draw a straight line going out. At the top, we're just going to go across with a short line and then just duplicate that line. So it looks like a nice thick arrow. At the tops, on the corners, we're just going to angle outwards. We're going to come down on the side with a short line. And then we're going to angle this back in towards the stick there. Let's draw one more here. We're going to draw this a little bit shorter. Uh, two straight lines coming down into the pouch, square off the top. Now from the two corners, we're going to go up in an angle. We're going to come down in an angle. You can see a little bit up there. Coming down in an angle again, in behind the stick. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Red Arrow. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out our Chibi playlist. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.